So this lecture is on uh, solving um, a non-homogeneous differential equation uh, where we have a product of those kinds of functions that the method of undetermined coefficients works with. Uh, here we have on the right hand side 5t times e to the t. So you can think of that as a polynomial times an exponential. And so um, in this case the guess that we want to make is a product of polynomial and exponential. And so um, the polynomial we would be looking for is a linear polynomial, um, a t plus b. And so the guess becomes, so our guess at the particular solution and let me use x's so let's say this is 5x e to the x so our guess at the particular solution is um, a line times the exponential e to the x okay and so we don't need another coefficient in front of e to the x since we, we have, you know, if we distribute e to the x, we have two coefficients for our two terms. And so um, to make this guess, we have to compute a first derivative and a second derivative. So the first derivative is equal to derivative of the first, a times e to the x, and then plus the first times the derivative of the second leads to this equation. <coughs> And then y prime, y p, uh, double prime of x is derivative of the first, which is a e to the x, and then plus derivative of the first, a times e to the x, and then plus uh, the second, or the first times the derivative of the second. So here's the derivative of y and second derivative. So if we plug these into the differential equation, I mean, we only really plug in the second derivative and the function itself, so we get, and I'll combine some terms here. So in y double prime, notice that there is, um, well, there's really 2a e to the x. So we have 2a e to the x. Um, plus, if I actually distribute in the second derivative, I get also a b e to the x and then plus an ax e to the x. Okay, So this is y double prime, and right below it I'm going to write in what uh, 4y is. And 4y is 4 times our guess, which is 4b e to the x. I'm going to switch the order of the terms in, in uh, y. And then plus 4ax e to the x. And so now What I want to do is I want to combine these two, okay, because this is the left-hand side. These two lines right here represent y double prime and 4y. So if I add the two, I get for the coefficient of e to the x, it's 2a plus 5b. This is all times e to the x. And then plus 5ax e to the x. This must all equal our right-hand side, which was 5x e to the x. So um, in this case, we can see that a is going to have to be 1. <coughs> so a equals 1. We also have the equation 2a plus 5b equals must equal 0. And so if we solve for b, so b equals... It's minus 2a and then divided by 5, which equals minus 2 fifths. So our particular solution in this case is equal to, so we, we suppose that ax plus b, so that's going to be x minus 2 fifths and then times e to the x. Okay. Now certainly things would be much more complicated if, um, let's say our, uh, let's go back and look at the, the differential equation. Um, so let's say we had instead of 5x e to the x, 
um, I'm going to move over to the right now and write a slightly different version of that equation. Let's say we had um, y double prime plus 4y equals, let's say, 5x to the fourth e to the x. And um, we won't go through the details, but we're going to guess the form of the particular solution. So let's just write that down. We will guess the form of the particular solution. And so here, our guess, well, we have on the right a product of a polynomial that's fourth degree and an exponential. And so our guess has to be the product of a general fourth degree polynomial and this exponential. So our guess is y p of x equals a fourth degree polynomial has the form <clears throat> a sub 4 x to the fourth plus a sub 3 x cubed plus a sub 2 x squared plus a sub 1 x plus a sub 0. Okay, this is the general form of a qu quartic or a fourth degree polynomial and then times e to the x. So you can imagine having to do this, uh, there's five undetermined coefficients, plugging this into the left hand side and matching um, left hand side to right hand side would lead to uh, a system of five linear equations with five unknowns. Uh, we won't go through the details, but this is what the guess would be.